YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, my fellow collectors. And as you can see in front of me, it is the edition three of Mezco Monthly. And today we are going to take a look at the Mezco 112 Collective Red Suit Classic Deadpool. So if you watched the previous video of my unboxing, then you know it is going to be Deadpool. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So I didn't list everything that he has. I'm just listing, uh, well, all his main weapons and then a few uh, accessories that are duplicates. So first off, as you can see, his the typical Mezco flight set, and I like this one a lot very much because um, a lot of Deadpool logos are circular, so this is perfect for it. And it also comes with the um, attaching arm so you can um, do flight poses and then I'm not going to show every hand I'm just going to show you some of the unique ones and then just the ones that come standard so it comes with standard fist hands he comes with both with two um, gun gripping hands so trigger finger hands and then he comes with two sword holding hands and then the two unique ones it's going to be a right uh, grenade holding hand and then as you can see here it is the grenade and then it has Deadpool like kind of uh, graffiti or yeah the Deadpool stylized grenade so as you can see he can hold it like so so he has a right grenade holding hand and then he has a left shaka hand and if you guys don't know what shaka is if you guys aren't from the islands it is pretty much a cowabunga whoops drop that a cowabunga hang loose hand so this is one of my favorites and i greatly appreciate it just because i'm from the island so nice little touch and then he comes with an extra expression face uh kind of i don't know how well you can see it but it's kind of like um like a what uh his right eye is wider than his left his left is kind of like squinting and then his right eye is like oh what the hell's going on and then he comes with a standard head and then he comes with two Pistols, I don't know exactly what kind of pistols these are. I'm gonna say Glock 9s. So, yeah, I think so. I think it would, it's just because of what it resembles, but I definitely could be wrong. So if I am wrong, please correct me. And then it comes with Deadpool stylized grips, pistol grips. So he has on both sides. And then I'm not gonna take it out, but it has, or I'll take, leave one in. It has, he has uh, clips, so. He actually has clips and then rounds that are inside the clips, which I think are pretty cool. And then you just pop it in like so, and then it stays snug onto it. And then, like I said, I showed you guys his uh, grenade, and then you guys can clip it onto his belt. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Comes with six, six grenades for the grenade launcher portion of his M4 rifle. So I don't know how well you can see that. So it's just a nice little black, paint with a red top so there's six I just don't want to take everything out so I'll just show you guys two comes with an m4 with a scope on it a another scope for the grenade and then comes with a grenade attachment that can open and as you can see you can just slip the grenade in there and then pops right out so it has an m4 and then you know it can't be Deadpool without his two signature swords so very nice detail black and red handles nice silver paint on the sword and the good thing i like about this deadpool is that you can store a good amount of stuff on him so we'll start from the back you can see that you can store his swords right here bam and then you can see on his neck around his shoulders has the um, grenade slots. And then I find it easiest when you take off his head and then stretch it out. Whoops, let me see if I can do it again. Stretch it out a little bit and then just place it like so. So I'll do two for now and then I'll do the rest later on. And like I said, with his grenades, I don't know if it's supposed to come like this, but um, there's a little bit of space on his belt where you can clip grenades like so. I'm not gonna clip everything just because I don't think it's gonna fit everywhere. And then let me 
move his arms up, which by the way has awesome articulation. It's like a perfect T. It comes with little holsters for his handguns. Oops, just dropped the grenade. So he has little holsters for his handgun. Let me see if I can, is that the deepest it's gonna go? I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, it looks like that's the deepest it's gonna go and then has a little, uh, little strap to hold it down, which I think is very, very cool. Let me shove this in on this side. And then yeah, so you can you can store a decent amount of stuff on him, which I think is pretty dope. And then unfortunately, this is the only weapon that you can't store on him. So um, I don't go too much into articulate. I mean, I did, I used to, but I'm trying to stray away from that because I know a lot of other YouTubers do that. So if you guys are, you know, interested in my review, if you guys are here for a reason, then you guys like what I'm doing so far. So what I like to do is I like to go over and just talk about. Uh, my overall thoughts and opinions is because I noticed that my opinions are a little different from a lot of people's own. So let me plug him into the base real quick and then just show you how he looks. So, bam, there is Deadpool on his base and he looks dope. I'm very, very glad to have him in my collection. Um, it's definitely one of my favorites. Maybe a sleeper for favor for top figure of the year. Maybe no, not the year, but top 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 ten definitely. Maybe. So, uh, like I said, when I first saw pictures of him and I saw reviews, like people do does say that he looks better in person. But honestly, I couldn't get past like his turtleneck uh, appearance. But once you see him in person, you can't even tell. Like right now, I guess it looks kind of bulky ish. Yeah, see, you can see what I'm talking about. Looks like he's rocking a turtleneck, but when he looks up and then when he looks down, you don't even notice it. So, which I think is pretty cool. Let me go ahead and swap his head out real quick. And then that's um, another thing, like his his two heads are like real, real similar. similar. So I don't even think with the expression, it might not make a huge difference, but there you go. Just pop it back on there. And actually on the body, you can tell that there is uh there is a difference where did i put the other grenade oh well i'll find it later but yeah there's a there's a difference in the facial expression so like i said his articulation is tip is typical standard mezco very very nice double jointed elbows you know nice shoulder rotation or articulation and then nice wrists um let me take him off the stand just so you guys can see better and then you guys obviously like see that he does have patent leather on the side. So you guys want to be a little careful when you're posing him. But if you compensate, like if you turn the, the material first before you turn the, you move like any of the legs, it works out pretty well. And as you can see, my holster just detached from the clip right here. But luckily, as you can see right there, it's like a clip that you can press on and then it will let me see if i can do it on camera it will just slide back in and then pop back into place i'll probably have to do it later just because it's kind of tricky to do on camera but yeah all right yeah i'm not gonna mess with that right now so he'll just hang there for now so yeah um the pleather material definitely will have some wear to it. So you just gotta be careful with that or take note of that before you guys get him. And then Mezco is known for decent at best uh, ankle articulation, but I think it's very, I think it's okay. I think I like it. So yeah, it's not, it's not really gonna be like a too crazy in-depth review. It's just gonna showcase, you know, what he looks like and what I love about this figure. So I love that. He comes with a lot of accessories. I love that you can store a lot of the a lot of his accessories on him, on the person. All right, guys, that's gonna be do it for this video. Uh, final thoughts and comments. If you guys collect Mesco and if you guys don't have this Deadpool, get him. Plain and simple. He is such an awesome figure. He is definitely, definitely gonna be in heavy consideration for top figures of my year. Uh, I don't care what I get later on down this line, unless it's something real, real, real crazy like Grail status. But yeah, he is definitely going to be one of the top figures of the year. So without further ado, that wraps up today's video. If you guys like what I'm doing, 
please consider subscribing. Please like the video. Please share. Um, I have an Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram. That's where I just share a lot of my pictures and um, I like to interact with a lot of people. Uh, I get like, you know, a couple of messages, you know, comments. And yeah, I, I just love interacting with the toy community. So if you guys uh, like what I'm doing, please consider supporting the channel any way that you can. So that's going to be it. Thank you guys for all your support. And until next time, I will see you guys for the next video. Peace.